Good evening, hyperspinners. Today I had a request to talk through adding a screensaver to your arcade system, so get ready. Alright guys, let's talk screensavers here. So for my system, what I've got set up is uh, this NES screensaver um, thing. It is, I don't know, maybe three years old I'd say, uh, but it adds a little, uh, I guess, spice to your system if you will. If you're not at your arcade, it will essentially pull up some tiles for the NES system and then you can actually just dive in and start playing them right off the screensaver. So uh, what I'll do is I'll kind of give you a preview and then I will uh, show you how to do it. So let's go ahead and uh, do this. So you can follow along. Uh, I just went to Cortana here and we're going to type in screensaver. And you're going to select change screensaver. Once that uh, comes up, you're going to notice that you do not see the Nintendo uh, Saber 2015 yet, uh, which is fine. But here's the preview here. So I'm going to go ahead and click preview. And what you're going to notice are all of these tiles. Uh, I can't actually, you know, preview this and enter them uh, at the moment, but, uh, you know, because it's the preview. But all you've got to do is uh, push the left arrow or right arrow, uh, one of the keys that you end up setting up and uh, you'll be able to just uh, select the game and start playing it as you're seeing uh, right there. So yeah, it's uh, pretty nice and it's inviting to uh, get you back to the arcade. So uh, that is what we're gonna be setting up and uh, let's go ahead and get started here. So I've got a folder here that I'm gonna drop on the FTP uh, here while we're at it. We'll do this live here or somewhat live. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to put this in the Ninja to be seen dojo and we're going to just create a directory here and we're going to say screensaver. So it's outside of the hyperspin folder and I'm going to start dropping this uh, in there. So let's back this up here. Yeah, you can see my, my life is so difficult, drag and drops to uh, get these over to you guys. Alright, so that is cooking and it looks like it's actually done. Uh, thank you, Circo, for the FTP, it's amazing. <laughs> uh, but what you'll find is a, a Nintendo Saver 2015 uh, file and you're going to just basically unzip that or open it. There is a README here, but I'm going to show you everything that you need to know, and probably more than that README uh, file. But what you're going to do is take that Nintendo Saber.scr, and what you're going to do is drop that in this uh, Windows folder. So you have to go to your C drive, Windows System 32, and you're just going to drag and drop that into that System 32 folder. So you're going to see Nintendo Saber. Once you've done that, you can close that folder out and then you can go to the uh, screensaver settings if you do not see that in the drop down after you've done that you might have to close that screensaver settings out and then reopen it just go back to uh, cortana type in screensaver and you'll be back in business uh, once you've done that uh, you'll click the drop down nintendo saver and you're going to click settings and this is a uh, how the magic happens. So this movie folder is going to be wherever the location is for your screensaver movies. So I've included this in the FTP so you don't have to basically download these or you know finick with the names or anything. Uh, just put the path of wherever you put this folder, NES screensaver movies. I, I put this in my tools folder and yeah you, you just end up uh, you know, clicking this uh, button here and you find the folder and select it. So you don't need to push download because you've already, you've got everything at your, your disposal. 
And then same thing goes with your game list. Your game list is going to be, um, let's see here. It's in the same folder, the screensaver movies. You see game list, NGL. You'll just push this button here, the ellipse, and you'll select that file. Uh, so we're gonna move on to the video tab. And based on your software, um, you know, you might change, or your hardware, you might have to change some of this, but this is what I got set up, and this uh, was the default, I believe. So we're gonna move on. And then we've got movie walls. So uh, as you saw in the preview, I had a total of eight, uh, I guess, unique tiles, if you will, uh, display. I also have a hyper uh, marquee. So, you know, those tiles even show up on the marquee, which is awesome. So the whole s screen setup uh, is overwhelmed by these uh, NES uh, previews. So uh, it looks good in my opinion. I hope uh, you enjoy them yourself. So yeah, just make the uh, settings the same thing with the movie wall or change the number of unique games that you want displayed. We're gonna go ahead and move on here. And then we're setting up the controls. So uh, you're selecting keyboard and then you're just selecting each one of these. And uh, you know, you're, you know, you, you can hit set mapping and then type in whatever you want here. And I'm gonna say set mapping, type in anything you want. And uh, why not? Here, we'll, we're making the magic happen here. All right, so we've got everything set up here. And the other features down here below, if you are wanting to reset the game, you know, that's your key that you're setting up. If you wanna just watch the game play, uh, which is interesting, uh, you know, if you get tired of playing, you know, you could push, you know, F2 here or whatever, and you, you would no longer control your controller uh, or your character. It will just be set to auto play, which is kind of cool. And, you know, these other buttons basically, well, you could fast forward that playthrough if you wanted to. Um, so that's all there is to it. We're just setting up some of this fanciness and uh, yeah. So if you wanted to quit the game, you just hit escape or, you know, yeah. I mean, that, that's all there is to it. it. You'll go back to hyperspin or wherever it was that you were and that will kill your uh, screensaver. So we're gonna move on to content. And this is what I've got uh, set up. Uh, I've got only play the games that emulate properly, play only the demo games uh, with the following regions. And uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's all there is to it. So there's not a whole lot to uh, kind of tinker through, which is nice. And then we're gonna go to miscellaneous. And this is just depending on your preference on the, uh, the sounds. So that is it. So you're gonna hit okay and you've got this thing set up. You're, you're gonna wanna select the number of minutes you wanna wait before this thing populates. But uh, yeah, that is uh, how you get that thing going. And we've got your screensaver set up, so I hope that helps you guys, and uh, we'll catch you next time.